According to latest media reports, the Indian Defence Ministry has approved the purchase of 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets yesterday, and the proposal would now be sent to the Cabinet Committee on Security for final approval. The 38,000 crore rupees deal is critical for Hindustan Aeronautics for preventing a complete halt of production at its facilities, and top officials have said that HAL is expected to deliver the first Mark 1A fighter jet to the Indian Air Force within three years of signing the contract, and the Mark 1A fighter jets will serve as a stepping stone for the upcoming Tejas Mark II fighter jet. The first FOC-configured Tejas Mark I fighter jet which conducted its first flight on 17 March, was not equipped with the Russian GSH-23 system, and experts have said that the Indian Air Force had allowed the FOC certification without GSH-23 trial, as it would take at least two years of rigorous testing by test pilots, before it could have been made part of the FOC configuration, which could have delayed the FOC by another three years. Top officials have said that India's Ministry of Defence has concluded negotiations with the Ordnance Factory Board for acquiring 118 units of the Arjun Mark 1A tank for an estimated $888.7 million, and the order of intent will be placed imminently by the Ministry of Defence. The $888.7 million order will also feature a two-year support package that will include maintenance spares and simulator training. The chairman of Ordnance Factory Board has said that the Ordnance Factory Board and the DRDO which were earlier working separately on the FICV project, have now collaborated to develop the Mark I variant of the fully indigenous futuristic infantry combat vehicle in a period of five years, while the Mark II can take around ten years in its development. Advanced features which were at the drawing board stage will now be included in the vehicle, and the specifications and features of the project will keep advancing as it is an evolving project. The factory will begin production of the FICV vehicle, when it achieves a satisfactory performance level as specified by the Indian Army. The general manager of the HAP project has said that the infrastructure is being created for the new fin stabilized armor piercing discarding Sabot ammunition project, and the manufacturing will start from the next financial year. He also said that the Indian Navy has placed an order for the manufacture of 800 units of DRDO developed extended range RGB systems, as well as 60 anti submarine rockets per year, and its production will start in the next four months. The Ordnance Factory Board has exported two of its newly developed 52 caliber barrel for the 155mm artillery systems to the original Swedish manufacturer of the Bofors system, which is currently using them for validation of 155mm ammunition being developed by global original equipment manufacturers. The chairman has also said that the Ordnance Factory Board will deliver the second batch of the Danush artillery systems to the Indian Army in the next few weeks. Oh,